Now I'm going to play a little bit for you and uh, I've also taken off the valve guards. You can see that this is the, uh, the medium large bore and I don't know if you can see that serial number. I'll make sure to type it out in the description. Okay, so let me play a few notes and then I've got a, um, pictures at an exhibition excerpt uh, that I will attempt. Caution, I am not much of a classical player and I'm actually taking lessons now. questions just let me know as you can see this is a nice sturdy case it's got two pockets on the outside they have double zippers. Let me show you these now. This would be great for like an iPad, uh, music for a gig, or for a concert that you have coming up. Really sturdy construction, can fit quite a bit. I've got the shoulder strap that I'll include in here. This shoulder strap's never been used. It's got a leather material. These attach to the D-rings on the outside of this case. Okay, so that'll come with the tr C trumpet. I've got a small accessory pocket on the outside as well. You can put like a metronome, a tuner, all your little accessories, valve oils, uh, tuning slide grease. You could put mouthpieces if you wanted here. I personally wouldn't maybe get a different type of case, but maybe pens and pencils. I'm including this valve uh, guide cleaner. You put a cloth through there and that, uh, that works great for keeping it clean. I recommend a, like a cheese cloth for that. Uh, so, so it's nice and soft and it's not going to mess up your valve casing. So the outside of the trumpet um, case also has, let me zip this up real quick so I don't toss the trumpet out. Okay. So this case also comes with backpack straps. So you take off this piece, you just take out your straps, um, and then you can use it just like a backpack. So for now, I'm not going to leave that out. When you're done, you just Velcro that back. Nice sturdy material, uh, it's a mesh fabric, so if it gets hot, it's not gonna make your back all sweaty. Um, it also comes with a top handle. These are really, uh, it's kind of got a rubberized feel to it uh, with grooves for your fingers. Um, so overall, really solid case, and the inside I think is even more impressive than the outside. It seems to fit this trumpet very well. Okay, so this is the inside. It's got a stopper so it doesn't go too far. Really nice plush uh, fabric. You've got a mouthpiece holder right there. I'm also including a, uh, a rounded tuning slide. And then this comes with the D tuning slide as well. So as you can see, it has the Armado, Armado keys, or sorry, Armado um, spit valves. So you can slide other things under here. Right now I'm just storing my D and my, uh, my round tuning slide right there, okay? So this is the actual C trumpet. I've got it um, with a valve cover, and this is the Z, sorry, the Zorro Carol Brass Trumpet. The compression on this horn is really good. I'll show you now. Here's first valve. Really great compression, beautiful trumpet. I could probably shine it up a little bit better, but maybe a good chem clean would even get it looking pristine and brand new. I did, have not really used this trumpet that much. Um, I've only used it a few times, 
and I bought it from someone who is the original owner and he is a jazz lead uh, player in the Navy uh, jazz band, I believe in Japan. And what's interesting about this model of, of Carol Brass trumpets is that this is the, the Zorro model. I've done a little bit of research, but it's all in Japanese. So this, this model was a prototype in Japan and uh, I think it was successful there, but uh, you know, I couldn't find much more information on it. These, these slides are so good. I really, they're so smooth. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, you can almost just throw it out with little ease. So kick that out when you need to. Same thing with the first slide. I'm very soft on that, but yet there's still good compression. So the lines of the horn look really good. There's no dents, there's no dings. There may be like a tiny scratch or so just from from the typical uh, wear and tear of a trumpet, but as you can see, everything's in pristine order. Valves are in great condition. I'll just show you an example of one of them. Let's try to do the first valve. It's in great condition. I use ultra, uh, ultra pure valve oil. I really like that. These valves lock in very good. Overall, really good uh, trumpet. That's uh, the C trumpet by Carol Brass, and the specific model is the Zorro uh, model. So I will put that back. Case is really nice. It fits perfect for this trumpet. As you can see, there's no wiggle room, so you're going to keep your trumpet nice and and uh, protected. Uh, there's plenty of room here. This uh, outside is a really hard material, so you're not going to have a have something come here and hit your hit your uh, main main tuning slide and your lead pipe. Um, same thing with the bell. This material is very very hard, so you're going to be uh, protecting your your bell as well. So zippers are not the cheap type. You can tell they're a good quality, and it also there's some bumper stoppers on the on the bottom to keep it. Uh, from destroying your case. So overall, a very good trumpet. I am uh, not gonna include a mouthpiece um, and I'm taking off that the valve uh, guards. But other than that, um, the case and the trumpet are included with that rounded tuning slide. And I'll throw that up on uh, eBay. So if you have any questions, just let me know.